Cleaner at Night is another fight I had to defeat with my second character due to intentionally finishing during practice. However, this time I couldn't quit and restart because I died due to being poisoned right after the final blow. I'll show the clip after the review. I finally found an arena with hazards other than falling to your death. It may just be poison, but at least it's a step in the right direction, so hopefully I get to see more arena hazards later in the game. With this hazard, I decided to make it a side challenge to not get poisoned in battle, so figuring out the pacing was extremely fun for me. I was going to parry this boss, but the attacks were too inconsistent for my comfort in the end. It's definitely possible to land a parry, however, it's one of those situations where the attacks are not telegraphed well enough to count on. So basically my strategy relied on punishing attacks with a backstab because this boss gets very excessive with its strikes. So I prefer to keep my distance and wait for an opening. I only do this because I'm not a fan of rolling so many times due to stamina waste and vulnerability to incoming attacks. This boss was fine, it becomes a regular enemy later, however it was nice seeing it in a fog containment with poison which added a decent obstacle. Apparently there's a duo boss fight with them, so I'll have to see how well that works because duo fights in Elder Ring seem to be a hit or miss in terms of applying skill.